Hello and welcome to new session of Mastercam X9 2D milling. We are in chapter 2.2.1 and in this chapter we will learn how to do X form. X form is nothing but a group of comments that will help you to translate, mirror, rotate, scale, dynamic move of, sec of an object. So if you want to do an X form, you go to the menu bar and expand X form and you will get those comments here or else we have a menu bar of, of exclusively for X form and you can opt for any of the comment. So we'll start with X form translate. So when you click on this X form translate you need to select the object and then press enter and you will get this dialog box and wherein you have to decide first that whether you need to move or copy or join the part. So based on your requirement you can opt for any of it and if you want to move uh, in x, y or z direction you have to just enter those values. Let's say if you want to move in x axis around 50 mm you select the object and if you enter the value here and when you click OK you can see that the object is moved in x X axis around 50 mm and if you want to specifically specify the from or two points you have to opt for this when you click on this and define the from and two points you can also edit the from and two points so based on your uh, from and two points the object gets translated and if you want to define the translation based on an existing line on the on the monitor you can opt for click on this and select the line and the object get transformed based on the length of the line and orientation or angularity of the line if you want to translate an object in a polar method you enter the degrees and enter the length you your object will get moved to that particular angle and length. Now let us see how to create translation instances. If you want more than one instance you can enter those values here and after you en enter more than one you can see that the distance between and total distance gets highlighted. So based on your requirement distance between means the distance between two objects if there is instance 3 the distance between first and the second is considered as this value and total distance means the distance between first object and the third object so based on your instance you can either uh, translate it on the right side or left side or in both direction now let us see how to do mirroring of an object you click on mirror command and you select the object and press enter you will get this dialog box and wherein you need to define whether we need to move copy or join the object when you finalize that you can select an axis to mirror basically it is just selecting a line let's say if you opt for y axis you will consider at an infinity line which is falling on y axis and mirror accordingly and if you want to mirror it on x axis you have to click this radio button and if you want to mirror at an angle let's say 45 degree and selected this uh, radio button a line is drawn from point as origin to infinity at an angle of 45 degree and you can mirror based on that line or if you have already drawn a line you can select the line or you can define the line by selecting from and two points so once you finalize finalize the mirroring axis and select the object you will get the proper mirror object next is X form rotate so as usual we can we have to select the object 
and then press enter you will get this dialog box so now we have three options of uh, uh, select I mean keeping the origin original object that is move copy and join and you have to define the center point of rotation and you have to define the angle of rotation so if you opt for only one you will get only one instance and if you opt for more than one and if you opt for different direction that is right or left or both direction you will get this many instance so if you don't want some particular instance you can you click on this icon and select the instance it will get erased from the screen and if you want to bring back that just need to click this icon so there are two options of orientation of an object here one is rotate and translate rotate means the object gets rotated when it gets uh, oriented so if you go opt for translate you can see that the object is not getting rotate the orientation of the object is not changing at all the position is changed based on your angle and point origin I mean origin of rotation based on it the orientation gets changed next is scaling the object you click on scale select the object you will get this dialog box and here we have two options one is uniform and other one is a difference defining a scale factor on different axes you can define the scale factor based on factor and percentages so if you want a 20 percentage increase in x direction you can opt for factor 1.2 or if you opt for percentage you have to define 120 percentage so like that if you want to define factors on each axis you can do that or else you click on just uniform and define the single scaling factor so based on uh, for example I have drawn a circle with diameter 100 and I have opted a different scaling factor for, uh, for different axis 20 percentage of x direction and 40 percentage on y direction you will get this elliptical shape so based on your design requirement you can opt for the different scaling procedure and next and most important x form command is dynamic x form so here we when you click on this menu and you need to define which object that you need to x form and press enter and next is you need the system will ask for location of nomen this is nomen and you have to define the location of nomen based on your easiness of uh, translation I have created a file called dynamic xform you need to open that file and you will get this uh, sketch your our main option uh, goal is to rotate this part and move it to the origin so we select this part these objects and then define the nomen at the midpoint of this line and now we can move this object in x y z direction or rotate in x y z direction so first we will move uh, this object to the origin and then we will rotate based on our requirement now I will explain you how to do this X form in MasterCam. 